The Indians kept up their musket fire, with many entering the cleared area around Fort William Henry. The men inside returned fire and suffered the loss of more cannons. The whole day we kept a constant fire from the fort on the enemy's works. I had the misfortune to burst two 32-pounders and one 18-pounder. The Indians all the while annoying us all in their power with their small arms. As the siege progressed, the Indians grew impatient with the French. They felt they alone had engaged in the battle up to this point. They wanted to see the cannons fired and the French join the fight. All the Indian tribes began to grow weary on account of the silence of our great guns, as they called our cannon. They did not wish longer to take upon themselves the old burden of the war. 